Uh, so my understanding of it is, yeah. that the members of staff have told me here, you've been arguing with them and disputing them. Yeah. And you wish to travel on the railway with that person. Okay? Yeah, that's not I'm not without paying for it, I just refuse to not pay using government legal tenure. How? If they can come up with another form of payment, yeah. then I'll be obliged to contract with them and pay for it. <coughs> How are you, Richard? Well, I'm not right, yeah, that's it, Alex. It's going to be warmer out there now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. I left this morning, it could be one o'clock. I fucking freezing, it was minus three. It's being cold, yeah. So I left my house at about five and it was uh, pretty chilly. Yeah, but I don't re I'm not recognised. That's the only form of payment that they accept. Yeah. Okay, so if, if you can't or won't pay, you have a recognised form of payment that they can accept. And that's the key. It's stuff that they are here to accept. Well, why don't they accept my kindness? Why don't they accept my kindness? Look, pardon my kindness. What I'm trying to do is I want to get to Trafalgar Square to stand at yeah. government corruption march. Well, and then this is this is the whole thing. How can I how can I stand at government corruption march and follow its rules of what it wants us to do? It's a bit it's a bit mental, isn't it? I can't get into that kind of political debate with you. I'm well, you should be able to because you're 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 people you're people of the law. You're people of the law. You're people of the law. I thought it's public service and you're public service. It's public service. It's a great privilege. It's not private property. And you. No. Either at liberty to use the services and pay for it, or you'll, you've been asked to leave the premises by the manager. So that's just two when, choices. When, when, was it put in the news? when was it put in the news that everything that was public about it. suddenly right. becomes private? Right. You talk to me and you listen to what I've got to say because I'm making a lawful request to you as a police officer in this nation and in this county. Okay? The information I'm telling you is based on the situation you find yourself in today mm. on premises for services that you wish to use. Those services will cost you some form of payment based on a recognised set of criteria that they have as a business that they can accept, yeah. i.e. cash, credit cards, all those kinds of things that we really discuss, like checks for example. They may or may not be able to accept PayPal for example, I don't know, they can tell you the, the different forms of payment. You can buy tickets using one of the families. Nowadays you can use your phone to buy things. You can buy your own form of, of ticket online more often than not. If that's open to you, you can do any of those things as long as your journey is paid for. Now, if you've paid for that journey, I'm sure they don't have an issue in letting you travel. However, if you're not able or prepared to pay, then you're not traveling. There's no other way around this. Now, given that you've been here for quite some time arguing the cost of that, and having a dispute with them, you are now affecting their their way of operating and running their business. Oh, so you are now being a distraction which is unacceptable to the staff. So they've now asked me to convey to you that either you buy a ticket and travel or you leave the premises. Your choice which one do you accept? Because you are now beginning to form a regional peace. And that's a parliamentary act, isn't it? Which I'm not contracted to. Which is a criminal offence. No. Which I'm, I'm no. warning you for your behaviour. Listen, right? so the Queen in a court yeah. has been found unlawful. So all you our have, courts are on law. Right? So the with government, you, the government gets its rule really. of law from the Queen by going to royal assent. So if the Queen's unlawful, and the government are writing out man-made laws, and you're here telling me oh, I've got to abide by them, yeah. where's the rule of law? You have to abide by the laws. Of there is one. There is not one. There is not one other than you standing there with your arms crossed, giving it the big I am. You are, you're telling me that I'm going to start breaking the breach of peace parliamentary acts. Why am I not breaking the beach, breach of peace? What's happening here? Why it's happening is because I'm being stopped from going through there. Right. I'm not obliged to his license of authority. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not obliged to this right. establishment. I'm not going to use the I stand no. under the law, and the law of this land is God's law. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a chance to speak. Well, no, I, can, I, can, I can go back and listen to it again I'm, on air, mate. I'm going to make it very, very simple for you. Are you going to buy a ticket this or not? No. You need to leave the premises. No. They're asking you to, and I'm obliged to stop you from committing the Why are you obliged to stop me? What law and what authority do you yeah. have to stop me from going through this? Once your permission to be here has been declined, denied, and, and taken away from you, then you are a trustee. Right. And I want you to be here. Now, I would rather you and I should do a gentleman's agreement. Go out there and have a private conversation. We can argue about this as long as you're on the outside. 
here, we're just causing the scene. Boy, boys are common knowledge that this is public, this is a public area. Now you're coming and telling me this is private. Well, it's a public area, but that doesn't mean it's not so private. So why have I got to leave then? It's a public area, but it's private property, isn't it? Yeah, so I can yeah. stay here. No, you can't. It might be a public area. It's only a public area that wants the permission to access that area and remain to the public. You, as a member of the public, have had that permission. You've now been declined that permission and they've taken it away from you. So you now need to leave. Yeah, but I was never contracted to him in the first place. You don't need to contract. You, we you do. Don't. You, you do. don't need a contract. We do. Because Scott, this I'm not going to argue with you, mate. Are you going to leave or not? Yes or no? No. You're not going to leave. In that case, I can use reasonable force. You can't, because I haven't committed no crime. You need to leave. I've committed no crime. You need to leave the premises. There is no crime in me staying here, talking what I'm talking. No, but you are causing a breach of the peace, aren't you? No, because the breach of the peace is a parliamentary act. It's a government statutory act. So you recognise that, then? Do you yeah, I recognise it as nonsense. It means nothing. So, so you don't recognise it now? I don't stand under it, no. Are you so are you saying that you're not going to abide by the, the laws of this land? No, you're not obliged by the laws of this land because of the Queen. You no, you're not. You're enforcing what the government's saying. That's, that's not the rule of law. I'm not going to stand here and argue with you all day, mate. Okay? If your permission to be on these premises is now being declined, you know, and they've been taken away from you. Okay? Yeah, no, because the government has privatised me. And I, I, I do not vote, I do not, you have I do not you abide, abide at all by whatever the government says. The government can say whatever the hell it likes, but to me it means nothing. I'm sure it doesn't. And you have the right. It's like, like you, you've, you've got a personal opinion that I should pay these guys the money and carry on my daily do. But if that's I'm you telling wish. you, under the rule of this law, which the Queen has failed and tried to uphold, and should be jailed, and in fact she should be hung for treason, well, the Majesty of the Queen. Yeah. The yeah, because she had, she broke her contract of, of signing to pull the law of God, mate. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm interested in this. Can we tell me more about it outside? Of course. Let's go. No, oh, I've got the paper here to show you. Yeah, I've got it. Come on. Oh, there's, there's some there's some there. Right. No, we're staying here, man. But you're still on the same property, man. Right. You're still on the same property. What's that? Tell me. Right. Lawful argument against the jurisdiction and sovereignty, right? right? Which is being taken away from us by guys like you not upholding the law. You're upholding the government. And the government are trying to rule this country, okay? So we've got, we've got to muscle up here and go back at them and stop following what they're talking and trying to tell us all to do. Right. The person who purports to be the Queen has never in fact rightfully or lawfully been crowned as sovereign because she was crowned upon a fake stone and the Scots made sure of that. Do you remember that stone that got stolen and they took it up to the uh, Ab Abminster, whatever it's called? Ab let's, let's go yeah, look, here we go. Look. Let's, go, let's go around the corner. The real coronation stone made right. from Bethel my Port car. and... My car is parked over there. I don't want to let's know your car. car. You're not going to in the car. Okay, well in that case, you need to do the coronation stone. So you can't just stand right here all day. Of course I can. It's a government figure I can't lawyer, isn't it? It's a government parliament main tree act for lawyer, isn't it? Like nothing to do with me, mate. What, are you a resident of this country? Well, yeah, because I was born here. Well, that doesn't mean you're a resident. Do you reside here? Do you live here? Yes, you and I uphold okay. to the law of this country, yeah. which is God's law. If you're a resident, you have to oblige and follow the rules and regulations that set down by society, by government. Yeah, and by, by, by the legal. No, community. the society, the society okay. is not asking what the government wants. The government is just telling us what to do. I think you boys actually know that we're all getting a little bit pissed off with the government, and we all want to rise up and start. That's, that's your, all right. that's your opinion. You're well, that's not my opinion. That's fact. The government are trying to rule us. It's not a fact because you've just. It is. You've it's just. You've just reported. Give me an opinion. It's not right. that. No, it is. It's not an opinion. Because right. this is a this is an actual law case. You know the guy who done the seven seven bombings, and they tried to imprison him for doing that, showing the government how they set the whole thing up. You know, like fake the images and stuff like that. This is the guy who took the Queen to court and said, "Where's your lawful right? You are unlawful. You have no lawful right in this court to fire me or do anything you want." Anyone? He walked out. They wanted to imprison him because they shoot. The corruption of that government. Scott, where have you come from today? Who? 
Where's that? Just down the road, isn't it? In this, in this town. So you're local from the Phantom, yeah? Yeah. Well, originally, I'm from my hometown, Great Yarmouth. Right. And you want to go to London today for this protest? Yeah. How many against government the pressure this? There's a uh, on the Facebook page. There was two, two and a half thousand. Are the Met aware of it? Yeah. Mate, I've got no issues you're going to protest, that's your right, that's I'm ex forces. If anybody understands that I do. Okay? I don't have a problem with you going to your protest. No, I, don't I don't have a problem with you carrying out the protest here, if that's what mm. you want. I've got no issues with that. My issue is that I think you've made a slight miscalculation in the way you go about the protest. Because the fact that you're protesting against something, mm -hmm. you are relying upon a right to protest that you have that's been given to you by people before you. And that in its own, own self forms part of legislation, and that legislation is sacred. You must follow that legislation, and if you want to you protest, must follow you've got, you don't have to, right. let, let, me you finish, let me finish the argument, because you've had okay, quite yeah. a bit of time to give yeah. me your, your piece, now it's my turn. That was our agreement, wasn't it? Gentlemen's yeah. agreement. Yeah. Now, I can completely understand if you disagree with parts of the legislation. I've got no issue with that. You have the right to do that. You do not have a right to disregard legislation, you will follow it whether you like it or not, or you bear the consequences of breaking that legislation, i.e. Oh, committing offences. However, my suggestion to you is, if you wish to protest against legislation, there are correct ways of doing it, and there are incorrect ways of doing it. If you do it correctly and follow the correct procedures for doing it, you get to say your piece without negatively impacting other people, other businesses, and other people who are going about their, their business, police officers and all sorts of other individuals that get encompassed and engrossed and pulled into your argument. If you go about the right way, none of that happens. Okay? I am going about so if you go about it and stick into the yeah, but that, that law, way, law yeah, of God. Yeah, which is fine. Okay? But very, which supersedes. Let, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say you uh, I don't know, say a builder for example. If I came to you and said, would you, would you build me a house, please? You would accept payment and return, wouldn't you? It depends. I, I'm, a, I'm a kind of guy that doesn't want to use money at all. I, okay. If a guy came up to me and was like, really nice about it, I'd say, yeah, I'll go give you a hand. We'll build them, mate. Let's just go yeah. build them. The problem right. with doing, me, me being able to do that is there's a lot of people standing in front of things, like all resources, going, give us these bits of paper. So right. Let's go and sit down somewhere rather than stand. Okay, let's go on. Let's carry on, Charles. Let's do it there. No, you can't go in there. You're not going to take me to the car. I'm not. No, you don't have to sit in the car. Well, where my car's parked? Yeah, there's there's concrete pollard to, to sit on. So stand here. I don't want to stand here in public having a big long discussion that isn't going to get us to a car. If you don't want to sit in my car, that's fine. They can get off. I'm just saying. If you don't want to sit in my car, that's fine. But let's go and sit down somewhere away away from here. This is a bollard. Well, you actually don't need your assistance. They call. They call. No. They need my assistance. Yeah. And you don't really have a choice because. You've been asked to leave the site. Yeah. Do you understand that? They've, they've asked you to right. Do you understand that? What? No, no. Yeah. Well, I have been Construction asked. techniques aren't going to work. Do you understand what you've what? been lawfully advised and told and commanded by the people who are <laughs> in the site? Yes or no? No. Right. I don't, I, I don't recognise that. Let me explain. It doesn't matter whether you recognise or not. It's irrelevant. You've been told by the people who own the site that your permission to be here has been rescinded. You are no longer allowed to be here. So you're committing offences. No, they're here. committing offences no, no, against no. me. No, you are committing offences by remaining on this no. side, regardless of whether you like it or not, regardless of whether you agree with it or not, or regardless of whether you recognise it or not. Those bits of, of permission, once rescinded, there's there's legislation in place that supports all that. If you disagree with that legislation, then you have a right to approach so someone to just okay. ignore it and go no. through. No, yes, no, you don't. I do because because no, okay. what right, what happens? If I disagree with the legislation and break it, I get taken to court, don't I? Yeah? Potentially, yeah. And under, under, under in courts, I'm uh, judged under Her Majesty's authority, aren't I? Yeah? Right. Because right. that judge has sworn an oath to the Queen, yeah? To grant legal authority, or lawful jurisdiction over me to judge me, yeah? Right. And she's unlawful. So I walk into that court, right? There's a, there is an in that law in the rule of law that she's supposed to uphold. There is one that says she is not allowed to uh, send man-made legislation. She's not allowed to. Right. If you read that law in her contract that she signed, she is not allowed to do it. So if I go into her court under the rule of God, which I stand for, this country, proud and strong, buddy, proud and strong. That's unlawful. She can't. She cannot. I cannot be judged on. So you're wasting my time. You take me here. I'll go through here, 
get get the old assault me, and then like we'll go to court. And I'll say like this is what you've broken, and I'll say I haven't done, I haven't broken anything. Okay. The Queen's broken. Do you know right. by forcing that legislation on me? Do you know what I mean? Okay. So you unfortunately the laws in this country, whether that's common law, whether that's from the Queen, yeah, common laws, or right. whether it's from whether it's from the government, so, a legislation from the government. Yeah. Unfortunately. You have to obey no, that. No, That's no, not. You cannot no, pick and choose which like, uh, which laws you obey, which you know what you do and what you do not do. I'm not, I'm not at the picking, moment, I'm you not can. Picking and choosing which well, you are. You can't turn up at a train station and say I'm, I'm not going to pay today because I don't no, feel because, I should. Well, because, no, because the laws, the laws, the rule of law is God's law. The Queen and many queens and kings before that have yeah. broken. They haven't upheld themselves to that law. Okay. So that means that it's come to us, and we're all in this mess of like who's doing what. Uh, this this. And we, we all kind of got this on rule of myself kind of business, do you know what I mean? And we all need to get back under the rule of law, which is God's law, and we need a new king on that on that yeah. throne or whatever, who's, who's going to write that contract, kick, get us back out of the EU, back into this country, get rid of government, dissolve it, and start getting us all back how we should be. Well, that's a long, long uh, road. It's not a, a, long, it's not a long, long road. It's all yeah. it means is us it's knowing. Not that's going to happen overnight. Anyway. That's, it's not something and it's that not, one and, person. And it's can not going to happen if we all just keep going along with all this man-man legislation with the government. Because we've got to go arrest them. It's guys like you that have all got to get together in your police stations and go. Do you know what? They are real bad criminals, aren't they? They have fraudulently took over this country. The Queen is not. You've got to look at the rule of law, which she signed a contract to. She contracted herself to that, and she's breached that contract. And it's putting us, so it's putting us rule, in shit street. Which rule of law do you, do you refer to now? The law of God, God's law. The no. law that that quit the Queen, who we, our allegiance to follow, which you guys are, which you swear your oath to. Do you guys even swear an oath anymore when you get into it? Yeah. You do, to the Queen. Yeah. Yeah. So you're sworn an oath to her, right? Top, top marks to you. You've got to know what you're sworn an oath to. Got to read that rule of law. You've got to know what she's supposed to be upholding for you to be upholding. Okay, and because in her in her in her laws, she is not allowed to send any man-made legislation. Okay, any legislation whatsoever. So that puts pressure on you guys because the government are telling you start parliamentary acts, yeah, parliamentary the, acts. The, so you see where we all mate, kind of where I do mean, we go? You're probably you know? already aware of this, but in terms of how it operates. Majesty the Queen is more, of a figure, is more of a figurehead. No, it's you're trying to change that no, no, let me to say, suit right. your agenda. You, remember our agreement? You've had a long, long opportunity to say your piece. Let me fair and right. I'm respectful that I get my piece. No, I just didn't drink out of water. Yeah. Right. Right. Majesty the Queen is a figurehead, more so than anything else. It's the government that put together the laws, they propose the laws, and they bring them into place in combination with. The House of Commons, the House of Lords, and various other authorities. So, and the Majesty they have no law for the to do that. ultimately signs up on the yeah, if and she accepts and agrees, and then and if she decrees them, and it become law. Yeah. So, and she's not you know, that, to. That's the system. She's it's, not right it's, to. Not, it's not for me as an individual, or for you as an individual. Yes, it is. Able, let me finish. Let me finish the argument. It's not for us as individuals to be able to say what the Majesty Queen of the Government can or can't do on an individual's basis. However, you do have a right to protest and that right gives you the idea to lobby that government or the Majesty Queen to say, I disagree with the course of action you've taken in relation to a particular piece of legislation or, or all of it, if that's what you wish. All those paths and all those roads are open to you, all those options are open to you. And I've got no issues with, with you doing that and I will help and support your right to do that. My colleague will do the same, and that's why I'm having this conversation with you politely, respectfully, yeah. rather than causing an argument, because I don't want to do that. I don't want to cause an argument cause either, big man. Drama. But what I'm saying is that as far as today is concerned, two things are happening. You're going about it the wrong way initially as far as these people are concerned, because these guys are basically just trying to operate a business. Yeah. They want to, they're here to make money, and they're providing a service. And for you to use that service, you will pay, make yeah. payment regardless of whether you agree with making payment or not. Now, I can sort of understand you're saying that you're prepared to make payment, but not in, in legal tender recognised by them, i.e. money. Yeah, but unfortunately what you're relying upon is the goodwill of somebody on that end to say, 
fine. Yeah. You can use my services, but give me a bag oh, of potatoes instead. Aren't we good people anymore? Okay. Or we but, all but, turn a bit Nazi? Mate, mate you know? I don't disagree with you because you have a right to do that. But you also need to understand, if you insist on people giving you the right to have that opinion and to have that voice, you also need to acknowledge that they have a right to deny your proposal. If you're pro How are you proposing to pay so have no for their services? Huh? How are you proposing to pay for their services? Yeah, kind of, so thank you. Right. But if they're saying that's not enough, they want more. So are you then prepared to offer more than But that? then they're being disrespectful to my offer, aren't they? Not really. They they run a business so and they give so they, a but they have set This is all under the rule tariff. of law. No it's not. Well, you keep using that word yeah, and that's become an arbitrary <laughs> use of that word now. Be well, you, it should, shouldn't be because what does, what the government. That's why the government. What the rule, the rule of what law mean? What's the means definition of the rule of law. The rule of law. That means what you, you know guys should be upholding. No. What's, what's, would you, what's the definition? I, of I know. I'm asking you. Do you know the definition of rule of law? I'll Google it. No, don't Google it. I'm asking well, you. Well, no, because I have. You've used it about twenty times in the time I've been here, and you don't know what it means. Well, the rule of law is you follow follow the law. That's the rule no. of law. If you don't follow it, then you get put into a court, no. and then so, you, so uh, do you get follow the rule judged. of law. What? Do you follow the rule of law? God's law, yes. Right. So you follow the church. Which, no, which God is your God? It's called the I Am, isn't it? It's Yah Yahweh. Isn't it? Well, that's a generic term for a deity. Right. So, yeah, but that's, which that's, god do you follow? That's the god of because this land. Because yeah. different, different gods have different laws, don't they? Yeah. And the so law, which god do you the follow? The law of the Yahweh. Yeah, but that's a generic term for a deity. That's a Hebrew term for a deity. Yeah, and we're British, and a Hebrew, British is a Hebrew word for right. co cosmic so, man. So, do you follow the Hebrew law? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it, it, it must do, because that's what's on this no, land. No, must do. You, you're a follower of it, so you yeah. should know. So which yeah, law do you follow? Law of God's law of this land, which right. is what's in the Queen's Bible that she swore to right. to uphold to the but law of the, this land. The, there is no God's law of this land, there yeah, is a legislative law of this land. And, That's a man-made law. And God, i.e. the church, work close with the government and the Majesty of the Queen in matters of government and of the people. These yeah, they are, work these in matters of these are, these are, blind these are, yeah, well, these are political issues not one of every day running a book. Let, let me give you another example, okay? At the moment, I don't disagree with, with a lot of what you're saying. I don't agree with a lot of what you're saying. I, I don't really have an opinion on it. What I do have an opinion on is your right to be able to have that opinion. I'm ex forces, that's what I fought for. To, for you to have that right, to be able to say and think whatever you want without yeah. offending others. But that right comes with a responsibility and that responsibility is not to affect others negatively where you are affecting the way they run their lives or the way they live their lives. Part of that life for these guys is running a business. You are negatively impacting this business They're which, negatively you, do not, impacting which me. you do not have a right to, regardless of how, how much you me. want. Okay? Your right to protest does not oversee and overrule their right to business. Not, I'm not saying that okay? because so, I'm... I'm, that's just the reason why I'm travelling today is to go yeah. protest. Well, by all means, travel. The reason yeah. I have the right to go through Do you know what there? I would say? My suggestion would be, these guys have already said that they're not prepared to let you travel uh, in response for a kind word. Because they're Nazis. Well, that's your... Country, mate, in this well, country in World War II went and got rid of them. Well, that's your opinion. And they come back, didn't they, in our government? That's your opinion. You're and they got people ruling themselves by saying, well, I can make this law, I can make, make this bit policy and you've got to abide by it. And I'm like, no, I don't have to abide that, by that's it. That's your opinion, you're entitled to it. However, there is It's not opinion. my opinion, it's for facts. It's not facts. It is okay. facts. You guys need to get with a program. Okay. Um, there's another bit that you're doing right now. You are wasting please time right now. Okay. I haven't asked you to come. I didn't call you. No, because... I, I said you can go away if you like. You are still on private property. You are being asked to leave and you, you need to leave. This, okay. is a, this is my suggestion. This is the public. My this is our country. Right, this is my Nothing suggestion. Nothing about it is private. Are you going to listen to me or not? Because at the moment, what are you going to tell? If you try to tell me, no, 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 that's not how it works. Okay, it's not about whether you like what I'm about to say. You listen to me. If you don't like, you won't listen to me. Because that's not how it works. I am trying to accommodate what you're trying to achieve. Because I think if that's what you want to do, I'm likely yeah, to be able to help you. And you your accommodation. Let, you need to let me finish. Okay. Because I wasn't rude to you when you were saying. I would like to be able to accommodate you in, in being able to voice your opinions and being able to give your give you a chance to, to get other people to perhaps change their mind if that's what you want. I've no issue with that. I'd like for you to think about how we're going to do it. Okay? Yeah. 
You've got two choices now. Exactly. Let me finish. You've got two choices. You're on your way to your protest. What time does the protest start in London? One. Right. It's quarter past twelve now. I oh, know. So you need held that bit. Right. So have you got any way of paying? Any means? Have you got any money on you? No. Access to any money? Well, I've got access to money, but I'm not high end. Are you prepared? You How about? What's more important to you? What, what's more important to you? Your principle of not paying or, or attending the protest? Because that's what it comes down to. What's more important to you? The principle, eh? Right. So if the principle of not paying, the principle of the law of right. paying, listen, because I'm not corrupt. I'm trying, I'm trying to speak to you with reason here. Yeah. Uh, and if you actually, if you listen for what I say, you agree that I'm actually trying to help you. Not yeah, I know, I know. I you don't you said you, you want me to like go to the government and the queen. Well, no, but we've, that's that's long term. That's yeah. long term. Let's deal with today. Today you've got done before. Today you've got our priorities. Your number one priority, or one of your two priorities is to attend the protest or not to attend the protest. It's now quarter past twelve. To attend on one o'clock, if you were to leave now, you could just about make it and it's, it's about a fifty minute train journey to train journey to yeah, then I've got a half hour walk to get right. there. So how long is the protest for? All day. So if you leave if you leave now or within the next hour you can get there and still attend yeah, a I've decent chunk of it. So it's how you get there. These guys will not they've already said they won't. Well, no, they're gonna assault me if I go through there. Well no. Yes, because <laughs> if I go through there without a ticket, he's going to put his hands on. Yeah, which he's allowed to do. No, he's not. Because he, he, can what, use he's got, he can use reasonable force to, to well, stop I won't be threatening to him. I just want, I just want to walk through. I'd say I'm not yeah, made it. Sorry, I've never screwed. That's why I've not laid hands on you, although I've got the power to do so. I can forcibly start dragging you out there. And I don't want to do that because you seem like a reasonable man. You seem like quite an intelligent. You can't because I haven't broken any crime. I haven't broken any law. I've committed no crime. I, mate, I don't disagree with you, but you are on site where you're not allowed to be. All, all is happening. So, so listen, we're, listen. Having a, we're having a debate. Yeah, but you you don't agree with my, my side of that. Excuse me, because this is a call in relation to you that I'm expecting. Hello, Josh DeVille. I mean, come on, mate. I, all, it's the rule of law, mate. The problem okay. is, is this is their property. They've asked you to leave. It's our property, mate. This it's is not, our country. it's there, it's private property. It's not, everything should be nationalised. Okay. This should all be nationalised. Our government have fucking sent something so out to the EU. Your house. And the Queen your house. should have done yeah. that. Is that your property, your house, or could I walk no, into your house and you'd be quite happy for me to walk in there? If you're not coming into a restaurant. Because the argument if, is if the same that if it's were, in this land, this is land for whoever. Yeah, if you want to get. I mean, I had one of your officers knock on the door the other day for like a uh, burglary crime thing. You mm. know, I sat there, had a bit of a chat with her on it. Yeah, you know, she, she, she obviously said, oh, I have to here, sorry. Uh, no, I? I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. think so, because it used to be a box. I don't know, right, yeah. There's a, yeah, a ciggy box down the end there. But, it's, it's like, uh, he, he was saying, you know, go to the Queen, tell her this and all that. We've all, everyone's been doing that, mate. We've all been petitioning the Queen to dissolve the government, because they've, and all what like, you know what I mean? Cameron's being found to be unelected and everything like this. And there's guys like you that come with guys like me and we go arrest them. They're criminals. Unfortunately as a democracy it's not you can't just suddenly decide what you do and what you do not want to do. Yeah. If, not, if everybody decided, yeah we actually we don't like this law. We do, we, we don't we don't want that law. That is why the Queen's there. It's the Queen, but the Queen if, has if you say I don't want to follow this law, somebody else says, Well actually I like that piece of law. And then 20 other people say, well, actually, I like that piece of law as well. I like that piece of legislation. I agree with that. And you're the only one that disagrees with it. You can't then say, well, actually, I disagree with that. I'm not going to follow because that. Because there shouldn't be any man-made legislation in this country. The Queen, when she wrote that contract, in the, the laws of God, it says, do not sign any man-made piece of legislation. But she has about 1,500 pieces of it. All right. All right? She should not be doing it. Now, she's broken that contract. So we should go and arrest her, we should get her out and say, you know, this is what they did in the olden days, this is where we get the Magna Carta from and stuff like that. This needs to happen today. We, I know we're in the 21st century and everything seems to think, oh, we're, we're now all free. But this is not a free country, because we are all trapped to the government with these man-made legislations. And, like, I can't walk through there because... He's got this license of authority and shh. Well, because it's their property. Yeah, but it's not, it shouldn't be their property. And if you want it's, to go in there and if you want to use the train, you have to pay for that. It's part of a contract. You enter into a contract by paying for your ticket, by paying for your travel. If they say to you, you cannot travel, then they're allowed to say that. Mm. But it shouldn't be their thing. So, all right, if you're not going to let me go through there, come with me and arrest the Queen. Huh. See? So, there's the problem. Well, I'm going to stand in here. 
this is private property and it shouldn't be right? it should be nationalized right the okay. person who's the person who's uh, privatized this country is cameron and all the ones before him you know putting us into the eu giving us their laws you know we're now apparently we're now policed by interpol as well they can just come storming over here whip us back over to there and chuck us in a jail it's just like insane mate everything's getting very insane because they want a new world order buddy. Right. They really do. But these people who are go our government, the Queen, the, uh, Barack Obama, their president, they want a new world order, mate. Okay, and we're helping them. All right, so we've got to stop doing what they want us to do, basically. You know what I mean? And there's guys like you. So when I go through there, and he says, you, "Oh, you can't. You've got to stand up to the rule of law, which the Queen isn't." I go, "Actually, mate, he can." And then let me through. That's what you need to do. That you're the you are the peace. Well, no, that's not that's not going to happen. The problem. I I fully appreciate you want to you want to protest against this, and this is your opinion. This is how you feel about it. That's fine. But the way about doing that is not by dividing free travel from Northamptonshire train station. That's not how you're going to protest. I'm not demanding. They, these money men you're telling them that you should be traveling for free because you don't recognize paying for their services and they've said no we'll accept money and that's it and you say well i don't want to pay so let me on and they've said no so right so what i should do is just go back home not go anywhere and never ever you know just let everyone ruin this country Such well no i'm not saying i'm not saying that i'm saying if you well, want to go and protest Fine, well, I can't, London get, and I can't get there, can I? But that means you have to pay to get there, you have to pay to use the train, fine. Yeah, and the prices just keep going up, and up, and up, and yeah, up. Yeah, they do. So we're getting robbed, mate. Then you're just like, oh, well, you know, in a minute I've got my paycheck, I'm working, I'll get paid, I've got my house. Eventually you won't, mate. You've got to realise that if everything's going up. Remember this game that used to be Rainbow Rainbow? And we used to, used to jump up, I don't know if you were young, you used to go, oh, anyway. No, no, no. Used to, the water used to raise up like this. You start there, the water slowly raised up. But that's what's happening with us. Everyone, the water's raising up, and the people who can't keep above that line are drowning. Which is why we've got poverty, we've got food banks and everything like that. Alright? And the government are doing that. And they're purposefully doing that. They're not doing that because that's the way it has to be. They are purposefully doing that. Alright? So you guys, who are here supposed to protect us, are doing a pretty poor job. Because the Queen's abandoned us, the Queen's completely joined their sides, so it's us. They've uh, now got to fight it back and just all get together, strolled up there, do you know what, get your asses out, you've ruined us. And that's what we've got to do. And that's why I want to get on that train, but like I say, we've got little hitlers everywhere going, mm, you can't do that. <clears throat> so, I mean, if I walk through there, are you going to start saying, do you know what, he's right. You can't actually oh. stop him. Because I have one. Right. He's gone. Yeah. I'm going to be transparent with you as I have been all the way through. I'm going to be really open and honest with you. That was a call from the BTP control room. The BTP is the British Transport Police. They are responsible for all of the railway stations and the railway tracks and all that kind of stuff. I've asked for them to be involved because they know the legislation on these premises much better than I do. Mm -hmm. Because if this was Sainsbury's or Tesco's or somewhere, then I know much, I'm, I know much more about their legislation as this side of it. Because not only is this private property, this is also a train station, which has specific legislation attached to it. Okay? I've already, he's going to go and find out the legislation and see how we can help you and accommodate you. But you need to be very, very careful. That you need to be careful you don't cross the line between carrying out protest into committing offences. Okay? I will accommodate you as best we can so you can carry out your protest, but you need to do it the right way. Now, my suggestion would be speak to the management and say you wish to carry out a one man protest here, where can they accommodate you? Where can you stand and do your protest? You are basically, you need to understand that the opening gambit, you are not travelling without giving them legal tender. That's, that's not happening. If you can pay for that ticket, then great, they will let you travel. Given what's already happened, I'd be very surprised, even if you were to pay, they still wouldn't let you travel now, because you, you, you become an issue now. Okay? So you're probably not going to travel, not on this one. You're still welcome to maybe book a taxi, or take a, a, a bus, or maybe even go to another train station and, and buy a ticket from there. From here, I'd be surprised. I can ask them, I've got no issues with that. My suggestion is, you've got one of two choices. If your protest, the principle of it is very, very important to you and you want to carry that out, I will help you do that. 
Okay, you're not going to make the one o'clock because it's down for a tree. Trees, by the way, I am actually up trying to uphold the law of this land. I know you're like me. You guys at ain't. the moment. You guys. Well, that's ain't. disrespectful because I'm trying to help you on it. Yeah, but okay. I'm trying to help arrest you on the queen then. I'm not going to arrest the queen because at the moment I'm not aware of her committing any offences. I've just shown you that this, she's been in. She's been. been she's been paper. taken to court. Yeah. Well, go, go find out yourself. You should be going to find this out. I, I will want to report a crime to you. The Queen is committing a breach of her contract and she's sold us down the river. Okay. Which contract is that? Well, the one she swore at her coronation. I wasn't there, mate. You're going to have to elaborate. Yeah, look, well, on here, but, you know, there we go. you're going to have to show me. Just tell me. Well, no, which just... contract is she breaching? Because generally speaking, the law of God, mate. Yeah, but the rule of contract, this land. Breach of contract generally is a civil issue and not a criminal offence. Generally speaking, but you might be referring to something specific. Right. Some of Elizabeth, uh, 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 that's her real name, Elizabeth Alexandra made other crimes, right? So she was fraudulently, fraudulently crowned. Uh, let's have a look. The main one. Yeah, let's see, Bill must have all the same, so let's start here. If you're proof that she broke her own, right? yeah, uh, ye shall not add, this is in our, this is in that Bible, she swore, kissed upon, right, this is the detriment, ye shall not add to the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish all from it, and ye keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you, which is the Queen. So right. She's added to it, she's been signing man-made legislation to it, straight away, just that alone, but she, she broke her contract. The but she part. doesn't have she, to. She's, because she's the head of the church and the head of the government. Well, no, so she's the she head of this land. Government. She's the head of this land yeah. and the head of us. That we serve her. Right. But she's not serving us no more. She's yeah. serving yeah, but you're not her own interests to get rich as fuck. Right. Do, you, do, you not, do you not understand that at the moment? You are I don't think you understand. Time. No, you're wasting my time because you're not helping me arrest the Queen and get her out and get a king in there who will abide the law. Ooh. Get rid of our government. Get rid of all this man made legislation. Get rid of all this nonsense. Nationalise our stuff. Get our own currency, not the banker's currency. That, if a king or a queen was doing her job properly, we would not be standing out in this argument. Well, do you know, you, you appear to be way more uh, research and in the know and wanting to fight back at these criminal lot. Yeah, I'd you're like, not. You're like just standing there while. Well, actually, you know what? Well, I'd quite like to finish my own sentence if you don't mind. You appear to be quite a lot more passionate. Excuse me. Because I'm British. Lying hey, Excuse me, I'm being called. I'm passionate about getting our lands back because they've been sent there because of that 9-11 bombings and uh, kept there because of the 7-7, which were all inside jobs. And our government still keep our lads over there. And yet you, you come along with parliamentary acts of breach of the peace and out on people and start finding out for the government. Totally. You just dialed 999 totally. from your phone right. accidentally. He has got a phone, we're just going to check. Have you accidentally dialed a 999 drop call? What, what does your number end in? 003. His number ends in 003, if that helps. Check your last call, see if you've accidentally no, no. dialed 999. No. No. No, it's not this chap. We're still uh, involved in a quite complex dispute with him about yes. his rights and laws. Um, I'm looking around. We're, we're literally in the, uh, the, the gates of the world. Uh, next to the W.A. Smith bit, so if anybody needs you know, it. The government don't come out and tell why, that, you know, that they're unlawful, are they? They're not going to go on BBC or the news and go, do you know what, people, we've been screwing you over, you know, but, you know, sorry about this. We need to go get them. We've got to stop messing about with the law society, like 100% evident proof and all that. That's their laws that they make and try and keep themselves protected from whatever. Do you know what I mean? So we've all got to realise, do you know what, they are really not well, a nice bunch of people. We need to get them out. I'm going to go and have a chat with the staff, see if we can find... Are you... What's, what's your plan now? Are you still wanting to go down to London? Yes. Or are you going to do your protest here? I want to get to London. Are you prepared to pay for a ticket? Right. Well, you're not going to travel here then. So you need to work out an alternative plan. Now, is it very far to walk to the power bridge? Or do you just want to pay um, I don't know about the power bridge street, it's not very far. It's probably Maybe ask five, ten minutes that way. Five, ten minutes that way. Yeah. Or ask a taxi or a bus service. I'm my own man. Do you know what I mean? You need to find your own way of getting there then. Well, this is it. I can. You can't, you can't force it. I am not forcing it. I'm just asking. Just, just step aside because you have no lawful right to stand there in front of me. But I think you find it does. That's it the problem. Doesn't. You're not, not as 
You're not as well informed well, yeah. as you think you well, are. Well, yeah, because if I'm right, you're not. Well, yeah, I'm telling what you, I'm you're doing, not. What I'm doing is I'm trying to save everyone the hassle of going through the courts and well, stuff on this. But you're so. not saving the hassle, you're actually well, yeah. making it more complex. Because if you're I go wasting, through there... You're wasting police officers' time now. We've been stood with you for ages, purely and simply because yeah. you were in. a minute. Are you going to leave the premises? Okay. Because I don't have to. Are you wanting to stay here and carry out a protest? I just want you just to leave me alone and then I'll just say back yeah, over we'll, yeah, but we'll just get called straight back, so I'm not leaving until you leave. Because you know I've not committed a crime. Is, football ground. Yeah. Uh, I've not committed a crime. You just Sixfield, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably best to get a taxi. I don't know what bus from here will take you there. Oh, right. um, I know which now, way it is to walk. Right? Earlier you were committing a breach of peace, and that's not why I'm arrested. Because you're not committing a breach of peace. That way. In my opinion, you go that way, over the bridge. Keep Which going, like, and you'll eventually get six fields, but it's quite far. Because until you tell me what it is you're trying to achieve, I can't help you set it up. Move it, get out Normally, of people come to us. People come to the police and say, "I wish to carry out a protest. Find me a place to protest." And we can then go and liaise with people and say, "Over there, that street, that corner, here, whatever you can protest." If that's what you're wishing to do, I can try and help and accommodate you by asking them. You wish to carry out a protest. You have a legal right to do that. Where can they accommodate you? Yeah? And we can maybe find you somewhere where you can talk to members of the public if that's what you wish. Have your placards, whatever it is you wish to protest, you can do that. But you're not trying to protest, you're trying to effectively bully them into giving you a service and you not having to pay for it in a way that they recognise or accept. I completely understand that you're saying that I don't want it for free, I want to give payment, but my payment is a thank you. Well, the thank you isn't accepted to a business that's trying to make money. I oh, know, and this yeah. is why we're so all you need to find somebody because this whole country is trying to just So you need to find somebody who is a good hearted citizen who accepts and agrees with your principles, who is prepared to give you a lift to London as, and in return accept nothing but a thank you. Yeah, okay. no, these people, now, the only there is no one can do that because only, everyone has to pay everyone, the only, don't we? We're all the trapped only, to it. The, the only people in the thank you that I'm aware of that you might stand the slightest chance of getting away with as a thank you would be the Jesus Army. And they're in town. They're the only people I'm aware of who may possibly be willing to listen to what they've got to say. Yeah. I.e. give even them, them, say thank even you. them themselves, they have to end up paying for it for somewhere. Don't because they? that's life nowadays, whether you like it or not. Yeah, because we've been have to we've been shafted. People have we've to been shafted all the way to here. And there's no time to turn around and only shaft them back. Look, in principle, I can understand what you're trying to say, okay? and in principle, it sounds like a very, it, it sounds like a very uh, wonderful idea if we could go about our business and go about our daily lives without having to pay money. That'd be awesome. Unfortunately, that's not a world we live in at the moment. Because if I, if I respect your right to want, want to argue and protest for that that level of existence and for that world, I think it's wondrous for that world to be be some kind of a fantasy thing. I'd love to be able to live but in that world. You're going to stand but out I don't live in that world. Because you I live in what is the current real world. Of man-made legislation all over the place stopping us from doing absolutely anything. I have to pay for it. Okay? If I want a, 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 war, you know, a glass of water, I have to pay for it. So that's the Which world that's criminal, isn't it? Isn't it? No, it's you, not. You, that's, that's, you can actually get free Wi-Fi more easily than you can a glass of free water. And that's right. Wait, I don't disagree with you. Oh, I don't disagree. So, do you understand how fucked up this world's got because of all this man made legislation? Everyone? Mate, that is why we've got to go get the Queen out, we've got to get a king in there who will abide by that rule of law. And when he does, mate, we will be free. We genuinely will be free. I don't disagree with you. Do me a favour, can I have your details? I don't need my details. Why are you walking to the legislature? I'd like to. Um, I know you don't need my details. But uh, I don't think. trust who you work for. Go that way. So I'm yeah, not going 10 to minutes, get into it. 5 minutes that way. Yeah, yeah, it's literally straight down that road. Just keep going. Literally straight down the road. Down the, road. the road comes to a fork, but you stick to the left hand side. You know, follow around. Yeah, yeah, that way. No worries. Because if you're going to help me, let's go arrest the Queen. If I was such a tyrant, I would have locked you up by now, wouldn't I? Am I not trying to help you? No, you're just trying to help you and I'm trying to accommodate you. Let's go arrest the Queen. Let's go arrest the Queen. But then you're not helping me, are you? You're not helping any, you're not even helping the British. Have you tried arresting the Queen yourself? What? Have you tried arresting the Queen? Is there, is there, is there, what, is she committed no. an indictable offence? Well, I don't know what offence you, you're purporting she's, that she's committed. She's a breach of contract, of contract in my yeah. mind, she's is a civil issue, not an indictable offence. She's there to look after us. Right. Yeah. And she's not. She's not upholding them laws. Alright? In, in the Queen's house, there's a lot of as well, she is not allowed to earn any more wealth than we are because we're all 
we all serve her, you know, so we're all in it together. If we serve her, if we swear her, like you guys have sworn you owe from allegiance to her, you should have exactly the same share of that that she's got. But she's keeping it all, and she's getting more and more, and more and more. All right, mate, so she's robbing us. All right, and okay. you've gone up to her and gone, yeah, I swear, swear to make sure the people who get a bit pissed off about it and start thinking, right, do you know what, I'm going to want, we need to arrest her. You go, oh, no, you can't actually do that. And that's what you're doing. But you need to realise, face around who's actually attacking us. It's not me attacking you. Who's actually attacking us, who's beating down the British people. It's the Queen and the government. Okay. That's it, it's, it's a fact. It's an opinion? It's not an opinion, it is fact. Okay. It's fact. So, if it isn't, how come this bloke, who done that 7-7 bombs, right, who the government really didn't want to know that that was an inside job to the, to the British people, yeah? Can you, if you've seen it, you'll probably, the 7-7 bombs video that he made, this chat, you don't no. uh, see. Now why not, because that's criminal evidence. Well, I don't look at every single piece of criminal evidence there is in every single case we, we, because we, we, I would we, never keep be... we keep trying to tell you police that there's a crime committed with a, with this, right? You know, to go and arrest these people, but you don't. You know, so you should look at this evidence and look at it and think, do you know what? That has been tampered with. What they're trying to feed us isn't the truth, is it? Let's investigate well, a bit more. Right. All right. So Tony Blair should be arrested because he sent us into those uh, wars with. Uh, you know, with America on basis of 9-11 and our 7-7 bombings. And uh, that's illegal. Right. Well, I think that was discussed at length at court and uh, they did go to prison for it, so... Well, no, because they run all, they run it all, don't they? But then they tried to get him, big time, didn't they, in the court about it, and he said, well, Queen's unlawful. You have no lawful jurisdiction whatsoever. And they, they won it. See you later. And they tried to get who, who are we talking about? Who who is this man? You haven't um, actually referred to his name or Mardi, but right, I don't know. Yeah, and he, yeah, he he uh, got well, they couldn't put him down. Basically, they couldn't because they had no. He was dead right. There was no lawful jurisdiction because they were trying to get him on a terrorism terrorism act. Right, and because the Queen's broke the lawful uh, the, the law, he can't be thingy for a man-made piece of legislation. He can't. He, under the laws of God, which we as the British people are under, the Queen is supposed to be upholding and then she in. But they don't turn around and tell us what those laws are. You know, they just tell us, all the, like you guys, what all the damn parliamentary acts are. You, you know guys, you've got to go out and get, smack all the boys' asses and buns and give them tickets. You know what I mean? The law, mate. That law of this country is being lost. Because the government want to, so we all end up bromishified zombies to their new world order plans. We all think, oh, it's never going to happen, but we're all slowly moving towards it. Because guys like you aren't getting us all together and going to go get them. Okay. So, what is your plan for the rest of the afternoon then? Right. Maybe end up uh, right, this getting. Is I'm not, well, not unlawfully assaulted by that chap in there, I reckon. Right, I'd, I'd rather that not happen. Well, I, I might have to, mate, because we might have to go to a court right. and then stand in a court and then I'd say to him, well, you've got no lawful jurisdiction. Okay. Th this is the position we find ourselves in now. You need to make a decision and you need to give me an answer right now immediately uh, as to what it is you're trying to achieve. Are you carrying out protests here right now? Or are you on your way to a protest and you refuse to pay and use the... Well, I'm trying to get towards my uh, sort of protest, I'm refusing to pay and you're not taking me anywhere because you have the law for like too. If that's the case, I'm happy with that. We've clarified that the camera's still running, my camera's still running. Yeah. So I'm happy now that you are not carrying out protest. you are simply trying to use services offered by this organisation. On our land. And on our land, under yep. our laws, and, and you're refusing to And pay. they've come along and finish. rubbed over and put some man-made stuff down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is important because this, I'm talking legislatively speaking now, so it's, it's in my official I don't, I don't okay, understand, you, understand you it. You need to let me finish. I don't understand it. It's but you nonsense. need to let me finish, okay? So I'm, I'm satisfied now that you're trying to use services 
and you're refusing to pay for those services intended that's recognised because they're blocked by, me. it's recognised they're blocked by, by this organisation and the fact that you're offering payment of thank you yeah, and, be and bloody the staff enough. here are, are not prepared to accept that and it's not thank yous are so part of that the staff have already previously asked you to leave I am now formally asking you to leave and if you refuse to leave you will be committing offences for which you will be arrested no offence okay of refusing to leave and comply with an awful order no, I'm just, okay. I'm just not compliant to what you want me to do. Okay. I'm, I'm about to get an email come through with the actual bit of legislation. It's bylaw 13. Yeah, but I don't stand under it. I yeah. don't you don't have a choice. I okay. do have a choice. Now, I'd rather not arrest you. Okay. I don't. But, but don't follow if you, the government then. If you refuse to leave, then I'd, you leave me with no choice. So, so, so right. I'm prepared to leave yesterday. Right. If right. I don't we're leave and you take me to the police station, what's going to happen? Well, well, what, for, what next thing? So I end up getting you're off, gonna get, You're going to get interviewed and potentially go to court. Let's go to court then. Because I'll, I'll stand there in front of the court and ask them what lawful jurisdiction they've got. Because I, the Queen has... They have, they're sworn an oath to the Queen to judgement. And that oath to the Queen is unlawful. Okay, so... What are they right. going to? What are they going to find me and judge me and try and put me in the prison? What, why don't the only we... way I'm ending up going in the prison is because you want me to go there because I'm standing here saying to... something's dead right and it's totally, totally going to change this country. Right. I don't want you to go to prison. If that were the case, I'd have locked you in major spell. I'm, I'm no, being no, trying no, to help you as best I can to try you and, and try help you because I'm, I, I have a proper lawful argument. I am totally in the right. You're totally. In... You're not. You're, you're, yeah. you're going about the only the reason. Way. The only reason you don't do it is because you're scared of the outcome. You're scared to go up to the government and arrest them and not know what's going to happen thereafter. Maybe, yeah. maybe these new world order elite guys are going to come along and want to drop a nuke on our country because we took took their criminal network away. Scott, at the end of the day, I'm a police officer and I am sworn to uphold the law. And if and when I am ever made aware of anybody breaking the law. And if I'm, 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 I'm required, making you aware of it, then, then you need to investigate. Then that is what I would do. Yeah, and so I'm making you aware of it. You need to investigate. You need to investigate the contract our Queen swore her oath up to, what those laws are, and what she's doing. Okay. It's totally criminal. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. Because she's criminal, the government are criminal. All right. I'm going to lay down a challenge and let's see how manly you are. Put your money where your mouth is. Come back and show me what legislation you're referring to. What exactly it is, and I promise you, I will make a note of that, and I will get it looked at. Right here. And if it, no, that, that's a, just some randomly internet printed stuff. They so the government do that. The government yeah. do that. They just randomly internet print stuff and stick it on the internet, and we all just think, well, because yeah. that's the government. Um, we got for. Yeah, but unfortunately for you, they have a, a legislature to back it up, a statute to back it up. You've just randomly printed some stuff off the net. I can't use that as as but then you best, of legislation then, yeah, to go around arresting Then you best that. then you best back up this court case then, haven't you? Where this you told me you're not you're just showing me random lines. Let me have a look at that. Are you prepared to let yeah. me read that? Right. What is this you're printing? Right, that's from the site. That's the site it's from. Anyway. So what is this? Right. Jartruth.net. Yeah. Okay? So J A H Truth.net yeah. slash Britmon. B R I T M O N dot H T M. That's just a little bit different. That's the actual author. Read all this, but just made 14, 14 points. Against us. And yet she puts her, puts her ugly head on all our money and we're handing it around which is worthless pieces of paper not backed by anything anymore she took that away from us and she she keeps her more or whatever we've been betrayed guys she's she's fucked us watch language go ahead that's the truth isn't it she has we're all sitting here miserable and you know Walk along to our graves, basically. Not I think you're, you're on pretty shaky ground going with what you're saying, based on the fact that you believe a stone was removed by some by some students. But it's because it was on the news. Because the, the stone that you refer to, plus other religious <laughs> government and, and um, I suppose sort of monarchy-related artifacts, they're aesthetic more than anything. They're symbolic. Okay, ju just because it's this stone as opposed to that stone, it doesn't take away from 
you know, the genuine well, credibility of the it ceremony. It does, because if, if you haven't, you, if, that's, if the, that stone's been used on all the previous ones, and all of a sudden yeah. that gets yeah. stolen, and she replaces it with another one to make out that she's on the real one. Yeah, but you, you, you're not understanding that oh, the yeah. stone is symbolic, which means that the symbolism can be attached to anything. She can put down another stone, or... But then that just means, but there you go, you're saying that we can just do what the fuck we like. Yeah, but no, that's what you just basically no, said. No, that, we can do right. just because you, you that's just not. Warn, okay, you're in a public place. That's the first warning. Don't do it again. Yeah, okay, that's okay. A, what breach of the peace, public act again. No, that, well, section five, public order. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've had to be one warning. Do it again and lock you up. Okay. You're bullying me. I'm not bullying. No, I'm being honest with you. and I'm being open with you. I'm trying to help you, but then you're disrespecting me by swearing. You're disrespecting me with all this man-made legislation. Okay. So don't I'm standing again. here don't again in this great country up. that's getting run over by the government with all this man-made legislation, and I'm up. I, I am an upstanding British citizen, standing by the law of the God that the Queen should be serving to us. Right. Are you going to leave yesterday? I'm standing here. Right. That case under arrest. Let's go. Uh, under what crime? Uh, there's a number of bits. By law 13, and also... Well, you guys are trying to come back at us, aren't you? Because yeah. we're, we're, we're right. We're like, we, you can't put us under... We're not under contract with the government, or okay. anything like this, all your... But, Scott, you're not dressed, okay, for the offences I've just mentioned. You don't have to say anything, but how much offences do not mention your questions on the people out of court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that portion? No. Okay. Would you like me to explain that portion to you? I won't understand it because I don't recognise any man-made legislation in this country. So you understand the words, you just don't recognise it as a, any lawful authority. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not handcuff you because you, so far you've been fairly compliant. Are you going to continue to be compliant and walk to my, my car with me so I can take you to the police station? Or do I need to put handcuffs in? I don't need to go to the police station because I haven't committed an offence or a crime. Right. At the moment you're, on, you're under, under, the, under the lawful law that I stand by, which is God's law, right. which the Queen has failed to serve. At the moment. And which you refuse to acknowledge. Right. My colleagues from the BCP, I'm, I'm trying to explain this to you so that you can understand where I'm coming from. Okay? So my colleagues we from understand the, where you're coming from. Right. You're following the government. Right. And I'm not. My colleagues from the BCP control room have contacted me, you've had phone call, and I understand that there is a, a specific offence, uh, and it's referred to as bylaw 13, which states that once you've been uh, told and advised by an authorised personnel, member of staff or police officer, on a, uh, a railway station to leave the premises, if you refuse to leave, that's an offence which you can be arrested. So that's what they're being arrested for. Okay. So you're trying to find something. Yeah. First it was like breach of the peace, then it was... Uh, yeah. You're under arrest for breach of the peace. No, you okay. tried to. But you're under arrest. You're, so like, you're just like spewing things at me right. to try and get me arrested and leave this place. Because I might wake up a few people... Okay, I've, I might wake nice, a few people up to nice what's actually people. going on in this country. And nice like, hang on, nice man. Let's, go let's go all just get together and not pay on the train, innit? Let's all just walk on the train. Let's go, mate. I don't need to go anywhere with it, I've tried. No, don't, don't do this. Don't fight me then. Don't want to do this. Because right. you're going to start getting sprayed and fights and all sorts of things. Well, what are you doing then? I don't want to do that. Well, then. You do this. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, let's go to court then no, and then. No, because we've already tried this. Okay. And the other hand, please. Drop your bag on floor, Scott. And the other one, please. Colleague will hold the bag for you. Alright. The rest is necessary for a prompt and effective investigation of your involvement in this offence. Okay. By law 13, as I understand no, it. I'll, I'll so, look at that when I'll get Yeah, of course you can. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for further clarification of it myself. Okay. We'll, we'll go. So you're waiting for clarification and you've got the cuffs on me? Yeah, well, that's because you're refusing to comply. Yeah. Well, you, you, you're arresting me for something you haven't even got clarification on yet. Let's go, let's go. No! You arrested me for something you ain't got fucking clarification well, on! I've arrested for a section 5 public order. I don't understand that, mate. I don't stand under your government choice. You're in a public place and you're throwing them. You've already had your warnings. But you arrested me because I'm, I'm annoying you, basically, you know. This is, I'm standing there doing what the bloody hell I like because I can, and it, it's pissing me off. I'm swearing. Well, why did you put the bloody cuffs on me? Why are you swearing? Because you're an absolute Hitler.
Right. Yeah, well, I've always went in, in World War II to get rid of people like you. Come around telling us what the fuck we can do. Swear, Scott, please face. stop swearing. Okay, you're still still, we're going to rise up in this country, mate, and we're going to go smash the fuck out of that government. And when Why we're going to swear, it comes to guys like you. you you're because you, you, right, you, you, you were quite reasonable to begin with. Yeah, now because now you cuff me up under some poxy suspicion of a, you know, broke by law 13. By law 13, mate, that's, uh, I've told you, I've taken the price of it. I am. You don't even know if you got it. Well, I've been under reasonable. What was that? What was the word he used? Are you guys still recording all this? Yeah, yep. been good. Mate. Jump in. Right, are you going to be reasonable? Because if you're reasonable, I'll take the handcuffs off. I'm going to swing at you. Yeah, yeah good. Okay, we'll, we'll take them off then. It should do, but I am. Well, well, don't then, because I, I'd much rather. Look, I'm trying to help you by. If, you, if you're trying to achieve your. by putting your views out there in the public, I've got no issues with that. You're going about it the wrong way. Yeah, okay. you're going about it a one man army, and you yeah, can handle I, a one man army. No, what I should I, do is go get about 100 of us and just walk straight through there. Push that no, man out of the way with his. No, 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 no just jump. get on the damn train. That's jump, what we should do. And what are you going to do with 100 men? Jump in. Okay. What are you going to do with 100 men? That colleague that you referred to from BTP who called me, uh, he was going to email me a uh, breakdown of that Rule 13 or Bylaw 13. Uh, it still has a country for me. at the moment is all on suspicion of, okay? So, I'm finding this really difficult because I'm, I'm trying... Pretty warm Sorry mate, I'll, I'll turn this down. Um, I, I'm trying to come to a... I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find a platform. Look, you're fine with us and I can understand what you're trying to say. I'm trying to find a platform for you to be able to have your voice, but you are going about this the wrong way. Surely you have the capacity to understand that because you seem like an intelligent man. You're not a thicko, you're not an idiot. No. We can see that, which is why I'm trying to help you. But what you're doing effectively is a protest, okay? And you can't go about it the way you're going. You can't commit offences that are criminal offences whilst these, arguing against against these legislation. And legislation okay? are not real. Well, right. you've got to understand. Right, I need I need your details, mate, because you're under arrest now anyway. So, Scott, what's your surname? You can get my fingerprints. So yeah, you're I'm, probably well, yeah, we'll do that in a second. But what's your surname? Yeah. Alright, so you're freezing giving me details. Is your my name or the person? Do you want the person? Who's the person? Who's the person? You know, we all know right. this, don't we? We're all found right. out about the story. Since you're, as government. you're as you're in my car yeah. and we're about to go to custody, the, the these are standard questions I ask everybody, okay? So mm. don't no disrespect. Do you have any injuries or illnesses I need to know about? No. Are you on any medication, anything I need to know about for the journey? No. Anything like uh, epilepsy or anything like that? You're not gonna have an attack along the way. Do cool. Any medication outstanding for you? No. Cool. Any injuries that I'm not aware of? Um, no. Cool. Get me on yet? Yeah, but I'm it's just come through, so I'm just trying to read it now. That come from the government system, did it? The holy grail. The holy truth. You all know their lies. Um, why do you follow them? I can understand you got to earn, we've all got to earn money and we've all got to live and I'm happy for you to do that but don't come to me, a person who's trying to, well not a person, a human being, who's trying to get our country back, just see me in the back of the thing and start slapping with a bylaw 13. Just go up to that dude on the platform and say, do you know what, he's right, 
get through there. We've got to get rid of our government and nationalise us again. So getting robbed by foreign investors and all this rubbish. Get out of the EU. What was it? Cameron said, oh yeah, you know, we'll do a referendum to get see who wants to come out of the EU. He realised that everyone was on the, on the internet and everyone going, yeah, let's get out. And he just said, no, let's not do this now. Do you know what I mean? Everyone in this country does not like our government. And you guys can even back that up. You won't say it, and I respect you for not saying it because you work for them. But it's the truth. It's the truth. Right, Which okay. This can be it's, dangerous because that means we've got right, to go. Scott, Scott. Right. Um, the emails come through. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. There, there is a, a bylaw. There's, there's a couple actually that apply. There's a, something called a section. 46 of the Railway Act 2005. Oh, you said that word again. Okay. Uh, and yeah, but uh, these are the laws I'm using to carry out yeah, but they're not your, laws. your arrest. Yeah, but I know you don't. Just take that from me. It's 18, right? Right. Um, I know that. you don't recognise it. Well, I know I don't recognise oh, it. Excuse me, give a second. Well, I'm not a dangerous man. I'm not a dangerous man. I'm not a threat to anyone. I do not, you know, wish to. Call yeah, thanks for that. Anyone. If it's in reference to the email, he's just received it. Right. Okay. Um, it's all come through, so I'm happy that the arrest is is lawful. There's, it's not lawful. Well, there's, there's you've been arrested for two separate offences: one for refusing to leave in relation to the because railway act. That's, that was a request. No, so I, it was. I'm not, going to argue, I'm not going to argue with you because you're still under arrest, okay? Yeah. And the second one was you, you were further arrested for Section 5 Public Order. Well, I wasn't breaking now, anything, I wasn't, right. no, no one else was complaining, you know, so it was just you wanting me to leave. Serving our Nazi raising government. Let me know if the cold wind's a bit too much and I can pop the window up for you. Yeah, I need a bit more heat. It's too hot, is it? I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put it down a bit for you. But, um, Public order and defence is good. Yeah, what's the, what's the thing? Uh, Section 5 Public Order. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Yeah, what would you do now if the government turned around and said, you know what? We don't. We're not working for you. Not like, working me, for things. We, we now not. declare war on you. I, I can't what do, you talk, do. I can't talk to you about it anymore because now you're under arrest. So I, I can appreciate that you, you know, you've still got views and you want to say stuff. And I was prepared to have that conversation with you earlier, but I can't anymore because yeah. I'm under arrest. Again. Yeah, because I. So I wouldn't um, do what you asked me to. Scott, have you ever been arrested before? Uh, yeah, I've been in the younger days. Uh, how old are you now, mate? Uh, 31. How long ago was it? 10 years easy. So things would have changed. I'll take you through in a second. Go okay, call it. Of course things have changed because they're trying to enslave us and get rid of what is actually the rule No, of thanks, mate. Well. Um, I'll just take things it change. Uh, to keep incremental little bits each time. Just like, we go along with it every time. You change it, you're like, yeah, I could do that now. Yeah, um, what I mean... This way, it's busy. Yeah, so what I mean about changes is um, have you ever been arrested in Northampton before? No. Right. Um, we're taking, we're going to take you to Brack Mills. Do you know Brack Mills? Uh, yeah. Right. Do you know the Barclay Card building? Uh, no. It's basically it's our new custody facility. We don't have uh, Campbell, we don't use Campbell Square and Western Fable anymore. Um, we, we've got one central facility now, basically, and um, the idea is we, we take you in and we, they've got one big building where we've got the custody facility in one part, we've got the investigation people who do the interview in another part, so it's all quite close together and they can hopefully deal with you much quicker. The objective is to deal with you as quickly as we can, not waste your time on anybody else. Okay, so get dealt You are with. wasting a lot of time. Well, that, at the moment, what you're referring to as waste of time, and what I'm talking about waste of time, are, are two different, slightly different categories. You're talking about principally under, under the uh, the umbrella of your argument, and I'm talking about physical time. Under the umbrella and, of your and, under the, uh, but Ironically, under the same bits of legislation that you're arguing against. So it's the very same bits of legislation that you're trying to scrap, which gives you the very protection. Yeah, because right those now. pieces of legislation should not be in this country. Uh, there's, I can't argue with that with you, that's part of your case. 
So I'm not going to go down that route, but what I will say... And that is why I need to you take can't them. arrest me on them, because they should not be in this country. I can't talk about the case itself, okay? I'm just... This is an unlawful arrest. That's why you're wasting my time. Okay, you know what? You are arrested. Yeah, I'm Section 5 of Public Order of Defence, okay, it's Public Order Act, and Section 5 refers to words that you use that may cause members of the public harassment, alarm, or distress. Okay. It may. So, well, I didn't hear anyone going, arrest so him, he's swearing and arrest him. You're, you're swearing in a public place which constitutes an offence, okay. You had a number of warnings and you kept it again and again, hence why. Uh, you, were you, don't and you were also really further right? arrested for offences um, in relation to the Railway yeah. Act, which was refusing to leave. I was stood still. I was just talking my argument. I hadn't hit anyone. I hadn't, you know, I hadn't even forced that man to assault me. Yet. You know, I was being quiet about that. I could have just stormed uh, through there. Mate, there's and no he allegations of assault, assault against you. There are well, no, no allegations of assault. And there's no against you. allegations of assault against anyone because no, I didn't no, push myself that far. But maybe that's the next step I've got to do. Maybe I've got to go start getting these people to assault me. Well, that wouldn't help your your argument. How would it not? It help because there's no because there's no law saying that I can't go through that through there. It's just him saying you can't come through here. All right, I'm, I'm going to stop there now because uh, I think uh, we've, we've said everything we need to say. I'm satisfied that I've given you all your yeah, rights because and what I say I is dangerous. dangerous. Okay. It's the truth. It breaks our chains. I know I haven't ran our angles anymore, but it's in our mind with all this man made stuff to stop us from doing things. As he said, she said, BS. Many years ago, when you were arrested, were you actually taken into custody, or was it just a roadside? Um, yeah, I think it was two in custody. I had one for a tiny bit of cannabis or marijuana. I was like 16, and the other must have been about 18, 19. Are you comfortable with? And do you understand what happens in custody, or would you like me to take you through it? What's that, buddy? Do you understand what happens in custody? Do you, are you comfortable with that, or would you like me to take you through it? Well, I'll just waltz into it, whatever it is. I mean, you. Could. <laughs> You've got nothing on me anyway, you're just wasting my time. Well, the, the evidence side of things, I can't, custody side won't talk to you about anyway. But basically, uh, we're going to custody, uh, I present to the custody sergeant why you've been, it's called the circs, all the circumstances, why you've been arrested, why I felt it was necessary to carry out your arrest. Yeah. I present that to the custody sergeant and then he makes a decision as to whether he wishes to authorise your detention or not. So does he, he get paid for doing that, does he? Do you get a bonus? How do you guys work out anyway? Let me finish this bit and then I'll talk to you about that in a second. So he, if he, he then makes a decision as to whether he's going to authorise your detention. If he authorises your detention, then as part of that process he's going to ask you loads and loads of questions which are all to do with your health and welfare. They've got nothing to do with the case. Okay, so he'll ask you things like, do you have injuries, illnesses, do you have any allergies, can you okay, take yeah. food, drink? You know, those kinds of things. Do you have anybody at home that needs to look at that? I'll have some more drink water because it is hot in here. We're getting really gammy mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he'll ask you those kinds of questions. If he, if he chooses not to authorise your detention, oh, yeah. then he'll suggest an alternative way of dealing with, with the allegation. So he might say, you know, do it on a voluntary basis in the car or in the car park or whatever. I don't know. Whatever, whatever he suggests, okay? Mm. So if that's the case, then that's the alternative that we'll go by. And then um, I'll, I'll have to give you a lift if there's any way I can help. Okay? Yep. So I'm not trying to make your life difficult. I understand no, I'm not. Truth. I'm not trying to make your life difficult. You know, but we're coming at these loggerheads with government v what the people want. You know what I mean? It's the new, you the guys that are in the between. You're doing what, you know, get the government out here themselves and start telling us what to do. Stop having you guys come and tell us what to do. If they, if they think they can do that, then have them come out of their little hiding shells and start telling us what we can and can't do. They can't. Do you know what will happen? Why do they come along and say, like, what well, if you hit a police officer, you get done for this, you know? And that's just like, oh, it's for, you know, it's just frustrating, guys. It's all like pinned down.
I've still got a book on that bike. Yeah. I've just remembered. I'm not saying that we should all be lawless, not at all. That's why I say the law of God, and it needs to be reinstated in this country. And run by a proper ruler, a proper king. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't get involved in the discussion. You should be, because you're a, you're a citizen of this country. Yeah, but... If you're, th if you're truly British, and which I am, I'm truly British, lion heart all the way, that's why I'm, I'm angry at the Queen for what she's done to us, and why, okay. why I say is dead wrong. And Maybe you guys don't want to man up to it or whatever, that's fine. But you cannot come up to me and start telling me what I can and can't do. Hello, PC Sibley. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I just spoke to my colleague earlier. He's just driving at the minute. No, no, I'm his colleague. Uh, Josh is driving at the minute. Yep. We, we, he's received the email. Yeah, yeah, I think I, we, we'd asked for, um, for you to be given a call to send it again. I think we'd received it momentarily after that, so we've got the email. Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. No, we've, we've got it. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much for that. Cheers, bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think it's come through, they said it's the request has come through from Birmingham, so I think they're going through about two or three different control rooms. They go from our control room to yeah. somewhere else to them by the sound of it. Because they're national, aren't they? So yeah. I think they're headquartered in Birmingham. He, yeah, he said it was from London. Yeah. But he said it's some, he's been receiving messages from Birmingham. Am I able to get a copy of that KO video footage? Like this one? Well, yeah, the one on your camera when you turn it on. Uh, not at this stage. Later down the road, you probably can. Um, at this stage, you can. Yeah, I would like to put it on the Hopefully you guys can all sit down in a room in your meetings and talk about it and, you know, realise that guys like me and other people that are, you know, druggies and that, cause we all feel, we've all been betrayed, everyone's been abandoned by our Queen, you know, by the monarchy was supposed to look after us, protect us, all they've done is just be letters of money.
very warm, thank you. Is it too warm? Yeah, but that's cold. That wind will just damage it. Like this one? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, it's perfect. Let me know if it's too hot or too cold. It's been, the sun's been in and out all morning, so it's really confusing. It's not, it's, no, it's not. It's, it's difficult not. to set the light. Yeah. easy going anymore is it? We're all getting struggling. Uh, I'm not. We're all starting to I'm not denying it. That's why I took the handcuffs off because you've calmed down. So that's, you know, the whole point of what we do is we, we do not know, be <laughs> people <laughs> think of us as ogres sometimes and if you actually genuinely sort of sit down and look and say actually are they really that bad? At the end of the day we're human beings aren't we? Yeah. We, we, you know, we, we try and help you as best we can and we do the best we can with what we've got. You know, we're not perfect. We do the best we can as human beings. So I don't think you guys are doing the best you can. I'm trying to do the best I can by upholding the law. You know, like starting to get rid of all this man-made, trying to get rid of all this nonsense man-made legislation to get rid of all the Biden. Yeah. So I'm taking our country back, doing the, doing the things that we should be doing instead of what they want us to do. Yeah, I think you start going through the um, car park, through the exit. So going by the way we normally come I think so. And then we have to give them a call and let them know we're out there. So yeah, I can it's got, they're doing some work at the CJC on the car park. So I heard one of the colleagues call a bird on the radio. So there's going to be some confusion when we get there as to which way we're going in because they're doing some work on it. So just have to bear with us. We don't know what, what we're going to use. We'll find out when we get there. But it's only here at the Brooklyn. What were they doing? Are they building something in the car park? I don't have no idea. It's just the other side of it. So that's the normal way and we're going to take a shortcut by the... Okay. So effectively we'll go straight over the roundabout turn left. Keep all them windows down again. Sorry mate, I keep forgetting. Of course you've got a big thick jacket on as well. Yeah, normally go in, right. but I'm not sure whether we can use it anymore. We might have to spin around and go back that way. So I don't actually know what the score is. Right. Ah. That's promising. Aha, that's a good start. I know you're coming because we ain't pressed the button, so you might just have to be patient. Okay. Yeah, I'll the controller to ask him. Excellent, thanks, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, you know, stuff's getting a bit larry anyway because they're metal and water hose, water cannons, isn't it? They know. Yeah. 
have to go and press the button there if you don't mind and just turn to the back of the Sorry, mate, you said it's simple right. Hello, we've got one in custody for uh, Section 5 and a railway related offence. Okay, uh, any language issues? No, no. Alright, thank you. In actual fact, you kidnapped me. Say again? In actual fact, you kidnapped me. Kidnapped you? Yeah, That's because you took harsh. me without my consent. I said, no, I'm just staying here. You, I didn't recognise any of your laws whatsoever. And I told oh, you I'm not going with you. You stuck the cuffs on me, come up with some bylaw 113 to bring me here. So you've basically kidnapped me. So I'll go and bring him again. And then I pressed it. No, doesn't look like it. You took me from my place of you give me a little bit more work. You said be patient to me.
Hi there, I did just bust through, we've got a prisoner. Are you able to open up the vehicle dock? Stuff that you want to deal with, that's cool, that's your right. Uh, at the end of the day, we're both doing what we need to do and we'll try and come to a, a peaceful resolution mm -hmm. and see if we can't find it. Yeah, inside that one. So you got everything? Yeah, yeah. it's got back. Go over there? Yeah.